So last time we were talking about downloading our data set. Now we have it open in Windows and we're going to get ready to import it into Excel. This is a TSV file, meaning tab separated values. Um, so TSV and CSV comma separated values are really kind of common data types that you will find. Um, if you just open up this in a word processing program, we can take a look at it. It doesn't quite translate properly into this uh, word processing program. We've got some names of some columns here at the top and we've got some numbers, but they don't seem to line up properly. So um, what we need to do is, is do an import process into Excel. And, but you can look at this and you can kind of see the structure of the file. So you've got the, the column name, first column name is study number. And then you've got this blank space, which is a tab, like the tab key. And then you've got the second column name and then a tab key. So the, that's why it's called a tab separated values because the tab is indicating the separations between each value. Um, that's what gives the computer the idea of how to organize this data into a table that is human readable. So now we'll go to Excel. Okay, um, I already opened it here. So I'm gonna just show you again how to open it. So we would open a blank Excel file and then we would go to data. And here is, uh, you could go get data from file text slash CSV, or you could click this one that says from text CSV. Oh, this is the weird thing. We just looked at our file. It was in this file folder, DS001, but it's not there now. Um, so here's the deal. <laughs> For some reason, Windows does not recognize your file as a text file. And right now it's only looking for text files because it says file name and the type is a text file. So we have to change that to all files. So that's one clue if you're ever looking for your um, file and it's not showing up in the folder where it should be is make sure to look at the type of files that are being um, shown. So we changed it to all files and now we can click on it to um, import it into um, Excel. This will open a new window. Okay, so this is the, the preview window. Before Excel attempts to fully um, import this file, it's telling us that it's, here's what it has come up with. Here's how it thinks it should be imported. It thinks we're working in a Western European Windows environment. So we're not in Europe, but we're um, using an uh, English Western European coded, you know, Windows computer. Um, delimiter means the thing that is in between the columns is a tab. So there are other um, things that you could put in between your columns. Um, the most common one being a comma, but the computer is correct. There's a tab in between each of our um, numbers here. And then the data selection type is based on the first 200 rows. That seems fine. If you look at this, maybe we're not 100% sure what these numbers mean yet, but it looks a little bit more like what we would expect from an Excel table. It looks like each word is the column name and then underneath is a kind of a unique set of numbers for each column. It looks like it's importing okay. So now we're gonna click load. And it is loading the data set for us. I'm gonna close this queries and connections thing. Okay, so now here we have our data set. And remember we were looking at what all the variables meant um, from our PDF. Um, and so these now are the column names, larceny, theft, arson. Um, you can compare these to the ones across the top. Larceny, theft, arson, what else? I don't know. Um, so this is county level data. We know that. This, for some reason, the, name, the number of the study is 9999. That's probably not that important. This is the first edition. This is part one. We got ID number here for each of the counties. 
And then we have this thing that says FIPS, okay? Um, FIPS state and FIPS county is what this means. And I'm gonna tell you about these important um, code numbers in a second here, but um, the rest of this is something about how much crime there is in each county. The thing you will notice here is that what we don't have is the name of each county, okay? And what we have here instead is this FIPS number, which is a federal ID number for a location. So there's a FIPS number for each state in the United States, and there's a FIPS number for each county. There's also FIPS numbers for um, uh, cities and villages and different other types of places, but we're just going to deal with cities or with states and, and counties right now. Um, these are the ID numbers for our counties. Um, so let me just show you in here we have um, a counties data set and um, it's called USA counties. If I look at the table within this counties data set, the attribute table. Here are the things that we've got. We've got a county name, <coughs> we've got a state name. We, ah, we've got something also called FIPS. We've got population, population per square mile, etc. Well, so what we want is to be able to combine this attribute table and add on all of that um, county by county crime data so that we can put um, crime information onto this map. And to do that, we do a join. And the key thing that we need is a matching ID number. Okay, so we're going to use this FIPS number to match things up. In the next video, I'm going to explain how to um, import this data into Excel. Actually, let me show you one more thing before we take off. Okay. So before I import this into Excel, um, one of the things you often have to do with the files is you have to make sure that there is only one header column with the column names. If there's anything else above this, you have to delete those columns and you need to make sure that the column names are um, valid column names for um, importing into the GIS program, which likely means they, they can't be longer than a certain length. They can't have any spaces or strange characters in them. And um, they can't start with a number, I believe. So if you have any problems importing your file in from Excel into um, ArcGIS or other GIS programs, first thing, look at, make sure you have no extra columns, uh, column extra rows above the column name and make sure that your column names don't have any spaces or special characters, don't have any starting with a number, that kind of thing. Okay, so now um, we want to import this table with these FIPS codes into ArcGIS. And um, one of the things we wanna do is make sure that this, these two columns are um, the correct column type that the computer knows what type of data they are and um, how to interpret them. So in this case, these are actually sort of like code names. I mean, they're code numbers. They tell you um, what state this is in. So this is Alabama. And this tells you uh, which, within Alabama, which, which county that is, okay? So each county has a number. So essentially these are names. Um, they're just in the form of code numbers, but these are not numbers that you would add and subtract, divide, multiply, that kind of thing. They're just essentially names. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these um, and make sure that they import as, um, as text, uh, columns and not as number columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the column here and go to format cells. And what we want is to format them as text. 
Okay, so now everything within that column is going to be treated as text, even if there is a number in the cell. And we're gonna do it on the other one, format cells, type text, click OK. Okay, so now we are ready to import this. I'm gonna save this file as uh, cities crime. Crime import. Remember, don't save any uh, file names with spaces in them. I'm going to save it here. And then I'm going to get ready to import it into ArcGIS.